Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, we are going to see how many of these Battlesteel level four standalone plates it's going to take to stop various 50 caliber rounds. So uh, my review of these plates from Battlesteel is probably one of my more popular body armor tests out there. And uh, the reason for that is number one, they're relatively lightweight. They're 6.5 pounds, nice curve to them all the way around. As you guys can see the various different curves that they have. Um, and you're not going to see that on a lot of the competitive offerings. It's ceramic and UHWM PE, 6.5 pounds. I think I said that right around hundred dollars. There'll be a link down below in the video description to pick them up. But I've shot level four steel plates before and I've had them together. And so I think that sort of changed how the outcome presented itself. So what I did is I made a little rig today to keep space between them to see how that's going to affect it. But regardless, what we're going to do first, because I realized probably a lot of you watching this video were not subscribed to the channel back when I did the original review. We're just going to do a real quick test to show you that these do meet the level four standards. Then we're going to start shooting 50 cal rounds into them. We got the armor set up around 10 yards down range and there's some dirt behind it, probably 30 pounds to simulate your chest uh, because obviously the results would be different if there was nothing behind it. So we have our black tip 30-06. This is the level four body armor standard for folks who are new. And uh, we're gonna run it here through my Springfield 1903 if I can actually get the follower down. There you go, geez. Um, obviously a beautiful rifle with plenty of barrel length to give it a lot of velocity. So, uh, We'll see. Let's check it out. I'm not sure how well it showed up on camera, but I actually had ceramic come back and hit me. So it was coming out of there with some force for sure. Obviously we center punched it as you guys can see. You can probably see there those little pieces of ceramic in there. If you take a look here at the back, we obviously have some back face deformation for sure, but it stopped it, right? So that is key and obviously black tip armor piercing 30-06 is no joke, especially coming out of that barrel length at this distance. So we'll put it back up there and kind of show you the multi-hit capability of it and then we'll move on to the 50. Next up guys, got some 115 grain minute ammunitions coming out of my MP5 A3 and uh, we'll put a little full auto funk on this plate and see how she likes it. As you guys just saw from that slow-mo, the plate tried to run away on me, but I wouldn't let it. I followed it down to the ground and shot it even from the side. You can see that one's a side shot there. We had a couple side shots here. Also had this side shot here, which came in right there and then came out. So it probably went through three or four layers of the polyethylene. So nothing penetrated obviously that hit it in the front and that could go on all day long, guys. That is one of the cool things about having that polyethylene back around there. But anyway, enough talking. Let's set the 50 cal up and see what these things can do. I truly have no idea. Because again, I've only done it with steel. Let's find out. First load up here is just some XM33 ball federal stuff. <laughs> I gotta adjust this here. I think I'm a little bit off to the side actually. Hold on. Make sure we get a good angle for multiple hits. All right, that should work. <laughs> This is not recommended, kids. Don't do this. <laughs> Let's check it out. We're down here at the site of the damage. And uh, unfortunately with the slow-mo you guys probably just saw, wasn't as good as it could otherwise be because it's cloudy and rainy out right now. So I built this contraption just so you guys can see. Basically the first four plates here are friction locked in. Plus they have these little backing pieces here. And that obviously adds to the resistance of them. But you can see, I mean, it's friction locked in. I can't move it without really 
jerking on it. But here's our first plate. And the reason I didn't put a top on it is this very reason. I knew these plates were gonna come apart. So, holy crap. That plate stopped it. I did not expect that at all, at all. But there you go, you can see the ceramic front is all one piece here. And then that's the back and that's the front of it. All you see here is this back portion impacting on that with the pressure where it's separated. And there's definitely bullet fragments in there for sure. But the bullet, there it is. All right, so there's the bullet. You guys can probably still see it. I don't really want to touch it because I'm sure it's hot. But that's the steel core. Of course, I touch it. It's very hot. But that's the steel core and the jacket right there. Stopped by one. Impressive, to say the least. I can't lie. I definitely thought that the ball round was going to at least go through two of them. It did not. And uh, regardless, next up we have some black tip. And we're going to throw that. That's armor piercing for folks that don't know. We're going to throw that in there. I, yeah, that's, I, I'm impressed. Let's see. <laughs> Let's check that out. One thing that's probably pretty evident at this point is that the 50 cal is packing power. Again, we're at about 15 feet when we're shooting these things and it's hitting hard. I mean, this rig, each plate weighs 6.5 pounds plus the rig itself probably weighs another 15 or 20 because it's wet wood. Man, uh, it's got some energy to just be able to throw that thing around like it did with the impact. Um, it says something for sure. Obviously this was our first plate this time entrance hole nice and clean once again we had some separation there from where the ceramic meets the uh, uhw mpe and obviously we had the exit here on our first one but it was tearing it i mean it was trying to stop ap I and mean, that's just nutty um then we had our second one here you can see it came in at an angle so it was definitely tumbling on that guy and then once again tried to split it and it stopped on the second plate. I totally didn't expect this. I thought the regular FMJ would at least go through into the second one, maybe into the third, and AP would go definitely into the third. That's what I thought. I was wrong, totally wrong. Uh, I have APIT and I have Hornady out here. I think we're gonna test the Hornady next because the APIT shouldn't do anything differently. Um, but the Hornady is definitely a completely different animal compared to this. I'm gonna have to redo a couple of these screws because it shoved them out, but we'll, we'll fix that up because I did bring drill, my drill and tools out to do that. And uh, we'll do that and in just a second. We'll be back out shooting that Hornady. Stay tuned. As you guys can see there, we have that Hornady AMAX in there. That is a nasty, nasty round. And uh, this rifle actually is an MOA gun with this round if you guys haven't watched my review. But anyway, what we're gonna do next is see what it'll do against these plates. I gotta move over slightly because that thing shifted. You can see it now from back here. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> I got it right in the top of the head with some ceramic. Ugh, check it out. At this point, I don't know what you guys are seeing there on the slow-mo, but I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. Uh, that Hornady is a nasty round like we talked about before. Uh, there's some gel tests on that round online. Check it out and see the kind of power it produces. Obviously you saw it toss this rack like it was nothing. Um, so we had our entry here in our first uh, plate, obviously going nice and clean in there. 
backside, you can see it disturbed a lot of ceramic. That's, that's not normal. If you guys watch a lot of my armor testing videos, typically it's the only the, the ceramic right where it gets hit that gets bothered. This thing about, I think you can probably see it. There's like a ring around it that's all crushed. So it hit, it hit with some force. And then set that one aside. And then this is the back part of that, the, the UHWMP portion of it. And you guys can see it just ripped it out, buckled it, but no penetration. It did not go through. And uh, I'll see if I can open it and see anything in here. I definitely can see something. Hold on. Just bullet fragments, that's it. Bunch of bullet fragments. They're stupid hot and I don't know why I just touched them. But that's it guys, that's what's back there. It did not penetrate, this was the second plate. And as you can see, just a little bit of a minor, you know, contact with it. Otherwise it was fine. Um, one thing I didn't mention so far in this video is that these are actually, uh, the reason this video came about is I was talking to the folks over at Botash and they said that they had a bin of damaged plates that were damaged in shipment, like cosmetically damaged, that they wouldn't ship out. So I asked if I could get my hands on it right for this test. So these aren't even the pristine plates, if you will. So these ones had cosmetic damage to them and they didn't feel comfortable selling them. So that's why they were sent out for this test, which I appreciate and uh, definitely have been impressed as you guys probably have gathered uh, at this point. So they performed extremely well. I can't say how other plates, level four plates would do, but these ones, again, that's two 50 cal rounds that were stopped by a single plate. That's nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. So again, thanks to them for sending it out. Thank you to you guys for watching. Um, if you like this type of video and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is kind of a bread and butter video. We do a lot of armor testing around here for sure. And uh, not quite like this, but typically a little bit more controlled than what we have here. Uh, if you're subscribed and you're not seeing two to four videos a week, make sure you're signed up for the email list that you see here on your screen. Uh, that way there's no social media giant censoring my content from your eyes. And uh, additionally, if these things go on sale or anything like that, although they're pretty inexpensive as is, we have a daily deals email that you can sign up for at the link here on your screen. Obviously, as the name implies, that uh, every day uh, email goes out pretty much every day with the best deals that we find along the way on armor, gear, guns, etc. You can sign up for that there. But that's pretty much all I got for you. Color me impressed and uh, we'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.